That's a snag, not a fish, and that's a spillway, and I'm excited. Keeping the spillway fishing going strong, comment down below if you want to see more of it. But like I always say, I'm going to do more of it anyway, even if you don't want it. And uh, at the same time, everyone says they want it, so it works out. It's a win-win for everybody. But yeah, we are uh, at a local dirty spillway, me and Jordan. I'm going to link his channel down below too. He's starting to make videos, and uh, if you guys could help him out by subscribing and watching a couple of his videos, I'd appreciate it and stuff. But we're gonna fish for everything. I'm gonna start with jigs, try to catch a bass or something like that. I know, I don't know why. And then uh, switch to night crawler, see if we can catch bait to catch uh, some kitty cats, because I'm almost certain there's kitty cats in here because the lake is loaded with them. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty familiar with this lake and the amount of channels that are on the main lake is ridiculous. So we need to catch bait, maybe catch a bass, then try to catch a long gone kitty cat out of the spillway. Come along with Jordan and I, let's do this. Sounds juicy, looks juicy. Oh yeah, that'll get you fired up in the morning. That ain't bad. I'm gonna try for bass first and then try night crawlers and then try for kitties, I guess. I wanna catch a kitty on a jig. Oh, I just got bit again. Already got a tick. Two ticks. Little bastards. Three ticks. Alright, it's night crawler time. Got a couple bites on the jig, but I didn't want to hold on. See if we can catch something big on the night crawler, at least something to use for bait for something big. And then go from there. My camera wasn't on, but I got something big on the night crawler. Not a bluegill. Can't believe my camera was off. Sorry about that folks, but the night crawler done did it again. Maybe we don't need bluegills for bait. I'd rather catch him on the ultralight anyway. He hammered it. Was your camera on when I hooked it? Because mine wasn't. I'm new to this. I thought we were going to double. <laughs> this could be interesting, boys and girls. I'm guessing it's a long dong kitty cat. Not sure which kind though. Hopefully it's a flathead. I didn't eat my Wheaties this morning. My damn arms are tired. Didn't even feel like really that big of a bite, but. It's obviously not a small fish. I'm guessing a 13 pound channel. I haven't even seen it yet though. You gonna dump, jump in and bear hug him? <laughs> I saw something, I just don't know what I saw. Oh yeah, took a little while, but not too long. It's a damn river monster. Nope, he ain't 13, but he's probably 11. So much better on the night crawler than a catfish pole though. For a little puddle, it's big. It's a nasty looking guy. Got a big ass head. It's kind of skinny, yeah. which I'm not surprised with uh, 
the fact that there's no bluegills in here or very few. All right, well, first fish out of the new dirty little spilling way ain't a bad one, especially on the bait pole. It's got a gigantic noggin. It just hasn't been eating very well. But have you even got a bluegill bite? No. I don't know if there's any bluegills left in here because I'd imagine if there's one of these, there's probably more of them. They probably ate them all, but I don't know. We might have to get bluegill eventually, try for these on purpose, but for now we're gonna keep throwing night crawlers and stuff. The water is actually kind of clear. The golden knot head. Going back into this dirty little spilling wave puddle. <laughs> that one stuff. Well, we're gonna have to catch more than that, but that was a good start. On the dirty old night crawler, bent out my hook a little bit. I'm lucky he didn't come off. This is like the crustiest, rustiest jig head on planet Earth. So I'm surprised they even got it in. You got one? Nice. I'll come help. This little place is pretty cool. We've been here, what, 15 minutes? Maybe 20? It hit it on the fall, or were you working it? He was there. Badass. What if it's the same fish? We've hooked three fish, two of which are giant. <clears throat> I don't even care about getting bluegills for bait now. Might as well make it a little bit more sporting with the ultralight. You put a heavier jig hat on too, didn't you? Good choice. <laughs> yep, that'll work. Dickhead splashed me. Definitely big. Potentially the same fish. <laughs> no, it's different. It's got a smaller head. Biggest fish you've ever caught on your bait pole? I had a net too. I should have grabbed it. He's barely hooked too. Like skin hooked and your hook's bent a little bit already. We still got a few hours of fishing. No need to rush it. He's getting close. I about dropped him. Ah! Ah! Bit the shit out of me. Sorry, bud. What do you got there, Billy? Nice little channel, this boy. Probably 29, 30 inches, yeah. kind of skinny. Yeah, good head. Yeah, I got, head. I got a scale, but probably not worth it. All right, fish number two in a very short amount of time. I'd say this spillway gets the seal of approval. Later, Timmy. Later, Mosquito Timmy. Good job, bud. Thanks. Let's try to catch another one. That was fun. Well, it's actually one of the, probably one of the better spillways that I've ever, ever been to as far as big fish go. Two double digit fish in a matter of 10 minutes. Out of a puddle, can't argue that. Probably just waiting at the bottom of that tube, waiting for food to get pushed in because we've been fishing with stuff that we can catch bluegills with and we're not catching bluegills. But yeah, we'll see what else we can catch. Give it a little while. So far, so good though. 10 out of 10, would recommend. I know, I saw that. I saw your whole damn rod tip jump. Oh shit! I thought it was snagged, it definitely was not a snag. A little tiny baby hook. Let me down. And that was just my own dumb fault too. Thought it was a snag, so I half assly set the hook. Let me give him the whole crawler. Give the long dongs the long dong. Nice, a oh, freaking walleye. Badass, bud. Yeah. It looked like a bass at first. Was it? New species. Got him. Oh, 
Oh no! Dang it! That felt big again. These little hooks are screwing with me. Or that's my excuse anyway. Shit the bed, Jordan, shit the bed! That thing slammed it. I hopped it and it just... A little bit looser now. It's either a giant fish or a snag. There's nothing else. Uh, this place is pretty great, bud. He's, he's trying to swim back to the lake. Yeah, I got one. <laughs> no, no. It feels like a snag that's moving as of now. I think we made the right call. I don't even know if I want to reel any more of these in though. There's got to be at least like five or six of them down there. Back off a little bit. We got time. We've been here like maybe like 40 minutes now. Catching big fish on the ultralight. One of my favorite pastimes. Especially out of such small water. Pretty sure I got a marlin. Did you see that swirl it made? Are you planning on making a video? All right, Jordan's got his camera on. I'm gonna have to steal some of his footage on maybe my first hook set. I might not even worry about it, but I'll link his channel down below. Go check him out. Him and I fished a lot ice fishing. We haven't really gone open water fishing too much, but he's a good dude. And uh, yeah, he catches some big fish, so. I'll link it down below if you wanna check out his channel. And uh, tell him the stash sent you. I guess I should concentrate on getting this fish in. <laughs> it's so stupid. It might be the biggest one yet, I don't know. I haven't even seen it yet. It's been five minutes probably. That's larger. That might be 13. Ah, never mind. Yeah, they're all they're all 10 plus pounds though. It's like a damn river river walrus going on here I'd say it's the biggest of the day but not by like a landslide they're all decent maybe we should dump one of our boxes of night crawlers in here for them before we leave so they got something to eat here this spot right here might be easier for you Pa pow Nice snatch, bud. So, you got him decent. Yeah, I'm he's fat. He's hooked. Look at its head, though. That's like an upper teener's head with like a six pounder's body. All right, well, kitty number two for me. I've hooked about four, but lost a couple and uh, got a couple. Jordan caught a walleye in another big channel and. Uh, I don't know, realistically like 45 minutes. All on the ultralight, couldn't get any better. Dirty old spilling way, dirty old creek. The creek kind of sucks balls though. It's only like, what, six inches deep? Yeah, the creek kind of sucks, but this spillway, definitely top five I've been to and I've been to a lot. It's pretty badass. <sighs> Probably a 31 inch fish. I'd say 11 pounds maybe conservatively out of a little puddle. That was fun. That is the spillway that dreams are made of. We caught some giant fish out of a little puddle. 
He caught an over 10 pound channel and a walleye. Had a green sunfish. I don't know, I caught three catfish? Yeah, three catfish. Two of them were over 10. Multiple double digit fish out of a little puddle. Can't complain. Like I said though, head over, check out Jordan's channel. I'll link it down below. What's it called? <laughs> I'll find it. I'll yeah, I'll find it and I'll link it down below. But uh, And uh, yeah, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe and stuff. Definitely appreciate you guys watching. Love you all very much. Talk to you. Talk to you later. TTYL and stuff.